Hello and welcome to my new gaming channel. In this series I'll be playing Hustle Castle from the start and giving hints and tips along the way. Ok the circles at the bottom are spells, you can use them whenever you want to. This is the main antagonist, the Abyss Lord. And this is the Princess. This is Donald the Glorious, the Prince. We're just going to follow the on screen prompts for now. Remember when you upgrade a room to click on the green hourglass to speed up the build. Now we have to drag people into the uh, barracks so we can fight and equip them with armour and weapons. Ok, tap on the map to take us to the playable area. This is where you will find the single player story missions and other playable areas too. This is our first control point. We have to win to unlock the next control point and further our progress in the game. Tapping on the control point will take us to this window where we can see our enemies and rewards for beating them. At the top of this window we can see our warriors. Towards the middle we can see the two enemies. In the middle we can see our fighting power 7600 and the enemies are 4800. We should easily win this fight. On the bottom left of this window we can see our rewards if we win this battle. 300 gold and two three star dwellers for our castle. was an easy win, we managed to get 300 gold and two new dwellers for our castle. At the bottom you can see an orange square, pressing that will replay the battle we've just done. To the left we can see a blue square with three white lines, pressing that will take us to the details of the battle. This will become really handy later on in the game. Characters will pop up from time to time, they will tell you the story and give you hints and tips. When you get to new dwellers, they will always appear outside the front of your castle, where they are now. Now we have to build a dining hall. This room will create food we need to fight in battles and play the game. Pressing the green hourglass will speed up the building. Now, Click and drag your men into the rooms. This is the throne room. This should always be the last room in your castle to upgrade, but we're going to upgrade it now. This is where we add a name. Make sure you get it right because we can't change it later. Every dweller has stats. Uh, Harper here has 4 to food production, giving her 34 food production per hour. You can only add 2 people per room of this size. The higher the stats, the more resources you will gain. And it's the same for the treasury room. Elijah here has 4 to gold production, 
giving him 16 in total per hour. Now we need a cellar to store all the food for battles. The more we upgrade these rooms, the better they will do. Another thing we need to do is deconstruct these obstacles in the wall so we can add rooms later. It takes a minute for your builder to do and you won't be able to use your builder on anything else until it's done. When it is done you'll have to click on it to get rid of it. Now if we click on the logbook that has a green number one on it this will show us what we can do next. So if ever you get stuck to know what to do Okay, now clicking on the map, this takes you out of the castle and into the single player area. Each area has control points to win, with a boss at the end. At the bottom of the screen you can see the arena, that unlocks at throne room level 5. Next to that on the right we have Jembe, that unlocks at throne room level 8. Next we have the dungeon, that unlocks at throne room level 9 and then portal that unlocks at throne room level 6 and is only available on the weekends over on the far left we have a little island that says under construction that is only for events that come out on this half is more of the story mode here you'll see lots of control points we have to beat at the end we get the boss the boss rewards, in this case, a piece of tank armor, a crossbow, and 10 diamonds. I'm just going to click on this next control point, blue treetops. This will start the next battle. Our objective is to win, so we can unlock the next control point and get to the boss fight at the end. Here we go, I'm sure we can beat these fellas. Yep. And our reward is 300 more gold coins and a chest. Let's go back to the castle. Your treasury and dining hall can only hold so much resources so it's always a good idea when you get back to the castle to click on them. Clicking on the chest will show what resources, armour, gear and chests we've got from previous battles. And clicking on the logbook next, not only will it show us what we can do to get more gold and to upgrade our castle but it will also reward us for the things we've already done in this case 200 coins the next thing is to build a cellar which we've done 200 coins upgrade the dining hall will be 300 coins completing these tasks will fill up the bar at the top of the screen and reward you a chest at the end Dwellers in the castle will create from that from time to time speech bubbles. Clicking on them will add happiness to your overall castle, giving you a resource boost. If you don't click on them, it will take happiness away. Here you can see the happiness bar. Um, with premium you gain an extra 20% which is really good. With the current 5% we gain an extra 5% to gold and food. Don't forget also to remove the obstacles that we deconstructed earlier and to remove any others that you may have. Like I said before it will take a minute for your builder to do this. Also, on the top left corner where the face is, there's a 4 out of 10 in a blue banner. That's how many people you can hold, a maximum 10, we currently have 4. 
on the uh, underneath the happy face if you click on the orange eye for information on the builder you can see the rooms we've still got to upgrade and again the throne room should always be the last room you upgrade and if you click on the plus sign now we've clicked on it you can see that you can buy a second builder for 750 diamonds we currently have 254 so we're 500 or so short but it's well worth getting a second builder as it will speed up the building process and upgrading process next on the scroll this takes us to game update information and also mail you'll get from wars and other things during the game it'll also tell you on the news if there's a maintenance and the servers are going down it will always highlight with a red number one or two when when there's new mail under that there's a, a crown these are your achievements these will highlight when you have achievements and you can see what you have to do to get an achievement and how much diamonds they reward under that is a cog these are where you find your general game settings like music and sounds um, HD office for high definition graphics this can really slow your device down so I recommend leaving it off you can also on under account management connect to Google Play so it will remember your game in the future at the bottom of the screen is the market here we can see production rooms your training rooms and your support rooms these will unlock as we upgrade the throne room and we can build them and upgrade them next is treasures we have a daily free chest which is always good to open a mythical chest which is rewards quite good for 50 diamonds and then food and gold which we can buy for diamonds should we be running short here in the daily chest we can see we'll get one uncommon item and one rare item or we might get a rare item if we had premium we would also get these other items at the bottom which are really good especially the legendary items let's see what we get with the premium pack plain luxury view okay this is the premium pack maximum happiness bonus resource for resource production this will give you the extra 20% on happiness next we have extra resources for victories one in player versus environment and player versus player mode this will give you extra 10% gold and other resources and can make a big difference next save 30% of your resources from being plundered when attacked in player versus player mode you save 30% of your resources when you get attacked next reduce construction time and room upgrade times this helps speed up the game as does reduced item crafting times which we will do later on in the game reduce spell crafting time and spell upgrade time this is really handy when you have up to 18 spells to craft as it can take a very long time next enhance daily chest reward these will give you the extras like the legendary weapon in the daily chest which are again very handy the hospital restores health units anywhere in the castle this is handy because at the moment without it we have to put our troops in the actual hospital to gain health then double rewards for daily quests that helps us get our chest quicker spell crafting limit increased from 9 to 18 this is really handy especially when you go into gem bay next is two times as many resources for friends when you join a clan you can add friends and give them resources 
when you give 10 friends resources you'll get a chest to open and they can be quite valuable next up is the battle can be sped up this is very handy with premium you can reduce the speed down to half speed so you can see exactly what's happening in detail or speed it up to 1.5 speed or 2 times speed which helps to speed up the gameplay next up is an additional free djembe journey when we unlock djembe we get a free go uh, with a premium account we get a second free go after that we have to use apples and diamonds which can be expensive here you can see the diamonds are for sale these are really handy for finishing rooms early buying gold and other resources but as you can see they can be quite expensive now let's go back and open the chest the daily chest nice blue ring and a green bow this ring does 65 to 89 extra damage and adds 251 to dodge dodge will help him dodge during a battle so he won't take as much damage and can be very helpful the requirements as you can see is level 10 so your man has to be level 10 to be able to equip it here's the uncommon weapon the bow crit is 88 which doesn't add to the crit damage which is double but will add to how often your warriors will get to crit. When attacking has an 11% chance of dealing 65% damage to a group of enemies. When attacking has an 18% chance of increasing own crit by 10%, lasts for 10 seconds. Again the requirements are for level 6. Blue items are always better than green items. Next up we have the three pets, Fluffy Cat, Cute Beagle and Cute Labrador. The Fluffy Cat, it says, who is the fluffiest of them all? It's $13.99 for me and all it will do is walk around your castle looking, looking good. They don't add any function to your castle. Um, that's the same with the two dogs too. The Goblin on the other hand is actually very handy to have it reads hey I'm a goblin assistant I'll be gathering resources for you and completing the training of castle residents even when you're away like I say this is very handy if at night time when you're in bed asleep this guy will still be running your castle um, he will finish training so your warriors and other tra uh, dwellers can finish their training and gather resources from the resource rooms too he costs 450 diamonds for 15 days which is quite expensive but it is handy to have I personally use the portal in my main game to fund him and that's the marketplace now if we just click on the skeleton guy at the top to remove him that will give us more space for our next video to add more rooms at the top of the screen you can see an apple and next to it a gold. When you fill up the resources you'll get a blue bar go across both the apples and the gold um, showing how much you have in, in storage. One last thing to talk about is the top left corner on your castle. Clicking that will show you information about your castle. At the top you can see your name and also your ID you can use your ID if you need a support ticket for a problem or on Facebook to enter a competition um, under that you can see not in clan that will change to the clan name when you join a clan um, and underneath that you can see a cup when every time you beat a castle in the player versus player area you'll get trophies and they add up when you lose you will lose trophies next is the level of your throne room in our case it's currently level 2 and under that 
we have how much eye power our, our warriors can deal. This is a rough, rough indication of your power. This is handy to compare your power against another enemy to see if you can defeat them or not. Underneath this is premium. If you have premium, it will show you how many days left of premium you have. In our case, we don't yet have premium. In the middle of the screen, we can see tournament achievements. We haven't done any tournaments and have no achievements. And we have no gifts from friends. When you make friends in the clan, you can get gifts and give gifts to and from them. Next up is the castle. Achievements, 0 out of 242 because we haven't done any yet. When you get achievements, this will show you how many achievements you have done. Uh, under that is dwellers. They ha each dweller can have a maximum of 5 stars. Our maximum stars on a dweller is 3. Ideally, we want all our dwellers to be 5 stars. And underneath that again is our maximum dweller class level. Four for food, four for gold, and four for our fighters. We need to upgrade those in the training room. Next up is battles. In this window, we can see how many successful attacks we've had. Zero, because we haven't done yet done any. And how many uh, successful defences we've had. Again, zero, because we haven't been attacked by anyone. It also says preferred spells. This shows you what spells you normally use. Um, to the right, aggressiveness. We haven't fought anyone, so it still says peacemaker. As you fight, that will change. And preferred squad. We currently have one tank and one archer. When you add more troops, it will show how many troops and of what type of troop they are. The bar at the bottom shows you efficiency. We haven't fought anyone or lost, so it's currently in the middle with a 50% blue and a 50% red. As you play the game and do battles, that will change accordingly. Whenever you're in your castle and you see the little round circle in the middle of the room, click it to gain the resources. Your rooms can only hold so much and when they fill up, you won't get any more resources. Next, if we click on the gold cup underneath, we've got global, which is the top players in the world, same as regional, then top clans, and next, friends. When you join a clan, which we aren't in one, all your friends when you add friends will be listed here. This is when you can give friends resources. Every 10 friends you give resources to, you will claim a red and gold chest. You can claim up to two chests a day. Underneath that is a shield with two swords. Here you can see castle defence, again the list is still empty because this is new, and your attacks. This shows you the attacks that you have made and the, and the times you've been attacked. This arrow sticking out on the left hand side, clicking that will give you global chat and if you're in a clan it will give you clan chat. Also if you want to join a clan you can click that and it will help you to find a clan to join. Okay guys, we've come to the end of this introductory video for Hustler Castle. Hopefully you liked it and you can watch more videos for help and explanations for this game. Like if you liked this video, leave a comment down below if there's any suggestions you have or anything you'd like me to explain. Subscribe and hopefully We'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. See you next time.